Welcome to Reef Diary, day 49. So, I treated the tank for red bugs last night and today they're gone, which is awesome. That's kind of what I expected. It's just really nice to be able to confirm that with some photography and look closely at exactly that one coral specifically that was super infested, as well as checking out all the other rest of the acros that are still in existence in the tank. I didn't see any anywhere. So, the premise is you do it again in a week and you do it again one more week after that to make sure any kind of uh, hatchlings don't come back and one of the reasons why i wanted to do this now is because i do want to put new corals in the tank and i definitely didn't want to put new acros in a system with red bugs ready to infest them so it's sort of like you know you want to get rid of the fleas before you get another dog i don't know maybe it's a bad comparison but the fact is it's taken care of i'm happy about that uh i've also you know i talk with Dwayne daily checking on him because he's unfortunately been sick with covid and one of the things we were talking about was what should I do about my potassium? And uh, you know, so far I've dosed two bottles, which is uh, two liters of the elemental potassium from Fauna Marin. And under perfect conditions, that would bring the number up from 200 to 400. But I already know that's not true because it's absorbing it into these corals to get their, coral, their coloration back. So I am considering hooking up the third bottle, but having that go in much, much slower compared to previously. So the first bottle, I put in 500 milliliters the first day, I put in 300 the second day, I put 200 the third day. And then it was a few days or a week till a bottle showed up, and then I went ahead and hooked that up with 200 milliliters a day for five days till the bottle was empty. So now I'm thinking about hooking up the bottle again, the last bottle I have, and putting it to maybe 50 milliliters a day for the next, uh, you know, whatever that is, 10 days. And what, if I were to do that, basically what would happen is uh, potassium would come up probably to 400, probably a little bit higher, but um, somewhere around 400 to 450 is actually a pretty good target level for a lot of hobbyists. And so I have no problem with raising mine in the tank to a higher level to kind of help richen up the colors in some of these corals that have been through so much. So I'm very happy to see that, uh, that there's progress each day. I look at the tank, it looks a little bit better. And I'm really happy about that. I was hoping to get a new pump in today from Siche or Siki and I wanted to try out their new water change pump, even though I don't need to do a water change today, but I kind of want to do a 50 gallon change because again, I keep trying to put in some new, I want to put in some clean water so we can start adding the other elements that the reef lacks, such as iodine and such. But uh, it's gonna have to wait until I can get that pump and that's okay. Uh, you might think, well, you need to do a water change after treating for red bugs. No, you absolutely do not. What you could do if you wanted is you could run carbon, but it, it's even then it's not necessary. We're talking about fleas. So it isn't like I took out some massive thing from little tiny bugs. And so once the uh, 12 hours had elapsed, I restarted the protein skimmer. I put the hoses back on the pumps so they would suck in air again and the skimmer started exporting uh, whatever it usually exports for the day. That's it for today's diary. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again tomorrow with a new one. Bye.